Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant. We just killed the final boss, so I think this qualifies as the end of the game. I'm surprised they showed your battle rank there. I don't know why they bothered. You know, for all that blood, do you think you'd have, like, a broken arm or something and not be sort of perfectly intact other than just some red paint splattered on him? Damn! Arena! Oh, maybe that wasn't the last boss. Maybe we'll get to fight him again. Maybe it will be more interesting this time. Then this is what you choose. To be someone else's weapon. A tool. So long as you leave them unchecked, that's all you are, Marshal. It's not true! Mr. DeVete, the General, even the people of the Academy, they would never use me! Well, Mr. David might want to use you in a certain fashion. Well, that doesn't look good. Berserk button pressed! Yes, we're actually using time shift during a cutscene! Not just in the game! This power... You would choose to destroy all remnants? Suicide because I'm a remnant too, right? Yeah, yeah, the big plot twist. But it's not like I can just let this happen. You've all done so much for me. I can't let you die. I won't. I actually like the music here. It's not sort of heavy-handed dramatic. It's just sort of, well, you know, that sucks, but it happened. Dave, sorry. I don't think you're gonna have any remnants left after this. But it'll be okay. People will figure out how to live without us. Right. It'll be all right, Rush. Uh, we'll get by somehow. Yeah, the tear animation was not very well done. So here's a question, he's a remnant, why is he bleeding? I guess I'm asking too many questions. Just, you know, MST3K. It's just a show, you should really just relax. Dramatic scream! Gotta have one!
And you gotta have the no. Gotta have the no. I can't remember what it was like in the Japanese version. Trying to catch snowflakes in my mouth. Trying to catch snowflakes. The problem with having a game based on side quests is that the emotional impact of the ending is pretty much destroyed. You don't really care about the people. I mean, it's a fun game to play, but so what, you know? The True Conqueror turned out to be, well, way too easy. And uh, I'm a little depressed because, well, you know, you'd think that if once you get all the ultimate equipment, there should be something left that's, you know, worthy of being a challenge. And there really isn't. I mean, I didn't even grind that much. Uh, most people who complete the game completed it at battle rank, you know, 100 plus. The way I did the uh, the way through the game without fighting a lot of the cheap monsters, unless I needed to drop from them, meant that I was sort of had high stats for my battle rank. But even so, many people will sort of spend some time just going back and forth in the ancient ruins, which really doesn't take very long. You gain battle rank, but you also gain stats very quickly, grinding there. Going through and getting all the equipment upgrades is really what's far more challenging and far less rewarding as, you know, total power goes. And I guess I spent too much time on that and not enough time on just, you know, beating up monsters for strength. Now, the Academy Visa Stones, which you can get, I mentioned it briefly, you can go back to Elysian and get them, and they'll actually explain more of the plot. But, well, it's not really a plot worth explaining. I've never actually gone through, I've read sort of the summary of what happens, but that's the end. And the credits will be their own episode.